The stretch drive of the Big Ten season, the Wisconsin Badgers with their final two road games of the conference regular season, a Wednesday night matchup at Minnesota, a Saturday game against Rutgers in Piscataway. Oh, by the way, the week began with a Sunday afternoon victory against Michigan and a couple other things going on as well, including the Jersey retirement ceremony of Michael Finley. We will look back at the highlights from all three games. We'll check in with former Badger star Brian Butch, who is now a star in the media world, and we'll have our weekly sit down with head coach Greg Gard. All coming up on today's edition of the Badger Sports Report. He shadows. Hepburn brings it back to the center circle. Shot clock at seven. Hepburn off the high screen from Proud. Chucky baseline left. Let's it fly. Good again. Chucky Hepburn was seven. It's 24 13, Wisconsin. Okay, he versus Davison. High screen. Dean Weaver back in there. Pass deflected. Stolen away by Davison. Baker in pursuit. Here's Brad down the lane. Lay up. Good. Brad Davison. The steal. The run out. Shot clock is at seven. Hepburn away outside right. Five to shoot. Hepburn to the top of the circle. Now out the crowd shooting for three. He hit it with the shot clock at one. 53-51 Wisconsin. Go to Johnny Davis against McConnell. Davis puts it on the floor, right lane line to the rim, and he runs it up and in. Talk about good on good. Johnny Davis against Caleb McConnell. Left of the lane, backing on Harper. Left lock, turns, out to Johnny. Feeds Davis and five to shoot. Hepburn for three, straight on, nailed it. Chucky Hepburn, a cold-blooded three. The Badgers head home for two more games, alone in first in the Big Ten Conference. This is Wisconsin basketball. Out front pass, knocked away by Davis. Johnny gets the steal. Johnny down the lane, slam dunk with a right hand. Up the wall, another three, got it! And a feed to Davison, running the floor, down the lane, to the rim, layup, good. Front court, high screen Carlson, deep three, Hepburn, got it. Goes to Davis for three, right side, book it. Fourth three of the half for Johnny Davis. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com. When you've been injured, you need the hometown team on your side. Trust us to get you back in the game. Call Wisconsin's own Gruber Lofts, proud partner of Wisconsin Badger Athletics. One call, that's all. You'll hear things like, you're going to need to see a specialist. That what you have is serious, like, really serious. And then you meet them, your medical team. With research and clinical trials and new treatments. With better procedures that lead to better results. Then it hits you, you're going to be okay. UW Health. Remarkable medicine. Remarkable care. Hard work, sweat, knowledge in your own two hands. These are the tools that build Wisconsin. Leave your mark on the real world with zero debt and higher pay. All from day one. It's time to do work that works for you. Learn more at buildingwisconsintogether.com. On this game day, Good Foods Guacamole would like to salute all you players, no matter what you seem to be playing. You, sir, are a winner. You, ma'am, triumphant. And thumbs up to whatever it is you're doing. So let's hoist a guac-laden chip to all you players out there. Good Foods Guac, made from the freshest avocado and the cleanest ingredients. So here's to all the players in whatever game it is they're trying to play. Game day is guac day. Good Foods Guac. Injured? You need a team you can trust. Call Gruber Lofses today. Serving the people of Wisconsin for over 30 years. Gruber Lofses, a proud partner of Wisconsin Badger Athletics. One call, that's all. Rebound Davison of Wisconsin. Badgers down one, back on offense. Wall, right of the lane. Starts to back on Curry again. Tyler backing in the paint. Left shoulder, right shoulder turn now. Up with the left hand. Good. Good counter from Wall. And the Badgers take the lead. 26-25. 6.57 left in the half. 
It's Crowell near the right corner. He's with Willis. A throw to Hepburn high in the right beats Davis, and he'll try a three right side. Got it. Brad Davison popping off the screen. His first points, 31-28, Wisconsin. Davison throws to Johnny Davis, drives off the right wing. Davis in the lane, swoops to the rim, flipped it in with the left hand. Oh, what body control by Johnny Davis. Crowd defends. Curry hand off the battle, knocked away by Wall. Tyler runs it down to the line, down the lane, to the rim, and a two-hand slam dunk for Tyler Wall. Comes Chucky Hepburn for, for the Wisconsin Badgers. High screen from Vogt. Hepburn left elbow shooting off the bounce and knocks it down. Hepburn with five. 44-41 Wisconsin. Throws to Ben Carlson, flips to Johnny Davis. Jordan out there as well. Johnny a pass for Brad. Now it's Jordan Davis for three on the right side and he sticks it. Lowy off the wing in the lane, flips it up right hand. No good. Rebound Johnny Davis of Wisconsin. Here comes Johnny up the right sideline to the front court. Bob's off a crowd screen, a step back three is good for Johnny Davis on the right side. Badgers match their biggest lead of the night at five points. Wall, baseline left, out to Jordan Davis. Jordan, top of the circle, finds a cutting Johnny Davis in the lane, hanging jump pass, Crowell low on the right, flipped it up and in. Nice feed from Johnny. Six point lead for the Badgers, 6.30 to play at the barn. Crowell right of the circle, goes into a cutting Davis into the rim, he'll catch and lay it up and in. Davis in with five, 59-51 Wisconsin, 6.20 remaining. Badgers have to win it without Johnny Davis, who has fouled out. Here's Brad Davis and throwing to Jordan Davis between the circles, go for zoning, Crowell. Out to Jordan, left side for Davison. Davison at the left point, puts it on the deck, left of the lane against Lowy, inside feed, Jordan Davis layup good. Jordan Davis with seven, 64-62, Wisconsin with 2.10 to play. This team's just a really driven team, and everyone knows that when your number gets called, you got to go in there and produce and try your best, and we got great minutes out of a lot of guys that were on the bench with Jacoby out and some guys not feeling too well, but we, we got good minutes out of them and some great production. Coach Guard just preaches on stay ready, so you don't have to get ready, and I think I do a good job. I think a lot of people will come off the bench. You know, it's pretty hard, like, coming off that and not being like warm or whatever, but like, getting yourself ready and just making an impact any way I can, just on the defense end and make some shots. I was really happy for Jordan. You know, it's uh, we always we have a little motto: stay ready, so you don't have to get ready. And and obviously coming into tonight, we knew that you know that there's going to be those opportunities. And you know, Jordan, I thought I thought he practiced really well yesterday. I thought he had a little bounce. He he knew this was this was coming. And um, again, just really happy for him because he stayed the course. Kid works hard. Um, kid is a phenomenal teammate, and uh, just really happy for him to be able to help help our team. I was a little bit more excited to be back playing in front of family and playing in front of people I know and in a familiar place. So it was just a lot of fun having, especially my family here, playing in front of them. Hepburn right of the center circle, sizes up Frankie Collins, gets a screen from Crowell. Hepburn shakes, now goes, left lane line, scoops it up, and in, and one. Chucky Hepburn on the attack with the and one. The Badgers regain the lead. Zone up defensively. Here's Johnny, left of the lane. Now up in the left hand, kissed it off the glass for two. Here's Hepburn at the right elbow. Sends it in the crowd. The floater in the lane is good with the right hand. Off the feed from Hepburn. We're tied at 38. It's for Hepburn between the circles. Chucky right of the paint, behind the back pass. Crowd for three, straight on, straight in. Crowd off the behind the back time from Chucky Hepburn. Left corner, Tyler. Floats it back out to Hepburn. The Badgers get the offensive board. Chucky on the right wing. Bounce pass to Davis. Johnny back to the basket. Moving in on Brooks. He'll turn, fades, flips, hits. Davis with 12. Hepburn on the jog. Right side, offensive end. Chucky throwing to Davis. Johnny between the circles. Puts it on the deck. Downhill, down the lane. Goes up. Yes! And one! More All-American work from Johnny Davis. And the lead is 10. Wall left wing. Crowder comes off the wing. Ball in the lane, shakes, bounce past Davis. He's with Bufkin, right of the paint, shot clock at 10. Johnny with a little dig from Houston. Davis, right lane line, hanging, shooting, hitting. Front rim and it went through for Johnny Davis. He has 23. Oh, Hepburn between the circles. A pass for Davison high on the left. Davison with 12 to shoot, Brad for three, left side, money. Second three point hit for Davison, 61-46 Wisconsin. The mid stripe for Davis. Now Wall beats Crowell low on the left. Slam dunk. Steven Crowell sends it in. 73 57, Wisconsin.
with a minute 35 remaining. Um, I thought we really locked in as a team. Uh, you know, we're kind, of, we're kind of good at situations like that when we're down of, you know, just slowly creeping back. Um, but, you know, once we got off to that big lead, we, I thought we did a good job of holding on to it. Jacoby coming in and giving us some help in the backcourt. He gave us some good minutes. Chris, you know, def defensively against Hunter Dickinson, who's a very tough cover, really good player. Um, then obviously Ben. I thought Ben, Ben grew as the game went on. I thought the first half he was a little tentative, uh, a little timid at times, just going after some, some opportunities off the glass. Second half, I thought he, you know, took steps forward and grew. We love to go to battle each and every day with each other. Um, that's the toughness and the togetherness that we lead with at all times. Um, and so we do that on the court, and we thought we did a great job today um, for 40 minutes. So we're really proud of the performance that we had. I'm um, really proud of the way that we handled things throughout the game. Um, and we're super thankful to have the opportunity to chase after, you know, the goals that are in front of us. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk, and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey. We've had some special days on multiple fronts involving Wisconsin Badgers basketball, basketball in the state of Wisconsin, really, for that matter. We know about Michael Finley and the Jersey retirement ceremony for him last week. A couple of days prior to that, the Davises, Johnny and Jordan, were recognized their high school up in the cross. I know, Greg, you, your staff, and uh, the team were all there. Um, like, why not? You know, you're, they're college sophomores, but they meant the world, or will always mean the world to, to the folks up on the cross. It had to be a pretty cool ceremony. It, it was, you know, and obviously, um, you know, you look at their senior year in high school was cut short by COVID. You know, that's when that all hit. So there was no chance for them to be recognized. Um, Johnny, obviously, with um, being named the state player of the year that year. So it was a chance for that community, um, you know, lacrosse community to really say thank you and recognize, you know, what was taken away there at the end of 2020. So it was, uh, you know, a great night for Jordan and Johnny. I thought uh, Lacrosse Central did a, a great job with it. And uh, obviously it's great to see our, our team just, they wanted to go. We didn't have to ask. They were like, how can we go? And, and we want to be there to support them. So that was really neat to see. I remember I was talking to Carter Higginbottom before you guys left. It was uh, just some interviews after the Friday practice. Uh, before you guys were heading up to lacrosse and he brought it up unsolicited hey you know a bunch of us going up there this is really cool and uh, you know carter's been around the block a little bit he's a you know he's a, a quote older guy on the team but he's really fired up as yeah. you mentioned yeah and I, i'm sure he spoke for everybody they all really wanted to be there. yeah if there was you know other than some guys that had some academic commitments and and other uh, previously scheduled things uh everybody else you know was in the in the van and going and Drove through the winter squall that kind of arrived, and yeah. the staff <laughs> flew through it, uh, coaching staff. But, uh, yeah, I mean, everybody got up and back safely, and, and obviously it was great to be there. And I know Johnny and Jordan really appreciated it, as did their family, for being that well represented represented from here in Madison. Nothing like a flight in high winds, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, every team is unique, but when I hear stories like this, I think about some of the most successful teams that this program has had in the last 20, 25 years. There seems to be a common thread. That's an arm's length view. You're in it. Uh, is there some truth to that? There's no doubt. I mean, your your best teams are your teams that are most connected. The chemistry is good. There's not individual agendas. They're more consumed with the team than they are themselves. And, you know, I really noticed that all the way back to last April when we got back from the NC tournament had given them, you know, I think we've talked about giving them a few weeks off. And when we got back in there uh, in the weight room, I could just sense like this group was united 
They, they wanted to prove that they could be a good team, and then I just saw that grow and grow and grow over the summer, and we're seeing, obviously, the results of that. But if you don't have the chemistry, it doesn't matter, you know, uh, and the connectivity with the teammates and, and those type of things. It doesn't matter how much talent you have. If you're not playing together and working for each other, it's going to make it a real struggle. And this group is the opposite of that. They're really connected and together and makes it so much fun to be a part of. Yeah, we mentioned this in the past with Brad, but with Johnny, one of the, you know, obviously a, a serious national player of the year candidate. Um, he might have a big game, but if the final score isn't what he wants, he's going to be a little salty, yeah. which tells you, and I would think, you know, others in the game, what you need to know about what winning means to this guy. A absolutely. And that's really from day one, that's always been consumed with. He doesn't care. And he, he's told me that on several occasions before this year even started. He's like, Coach, I don't care about that other stuff. I just want to make sure our team is as good and as, as successful as possible. We, we talked last week a little bit about Michael and, and your long time stance on, on embracing the alumni when you can. It was it was cool after the game. I know you had a chance to go up there um, after the Michigan game, finally <laughs> up there to see some of the guys. But you know, to see a Devin Harris, to see you know Brian Hecker, who was on a couple of different staffs with Stu, Stan, and then with with Dick Bennett, any number of other players. Great to see those guys. And I, I go back to Devin. Um, I don't know if I, I mean I always I love the kid not just as a player but you just seem like a genuinely good guy or is a genuinely good guy. I don't know if I had him pegged as a broadcaster, but Finley tells me he's really good. That yeah, he's and really I, haven't, nice I haven't seen that. I know he's doing. I've talked to him. He was in our coach's locker room before the game on Sunday and I said, "Hey, still TV?" And he goes, "Yeah, I'm doing some Mavs, doing some Nets things. Mm -hmm. um, he's trying to get in, do some BTN stuff mm -hmm. next year, which he'll be awesome at." Um, but yeah, I mean, he's been able to transition from his playing career. Now to life after basketball, but still basketball is a part of it. He's, you know, now he can talk smart like all of us, right, with these mics <laughs> and everything. But it's, you know, not only Devin, but, I mean, I, I'm i not even going to start to try to name names because I'll miss people, but the locker room was jam-packed Sunday. I mean, I think everybody um, that was here came in there, and it was great to see Stu Jackson, Ray McCallum. Obviously, Michael came in, and he talked to the team on behalf of the alumni, and um, it was really a, a really unique moment. I think it really was eye-opening for our current players because as they walked in, I brought them in one by one and introduced them. And, and um, you know, I think for our current players, they, they, they played before some of these guys were born. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just to recognize that, that this is, this is bigger than any one individual. And, and I think our players really appreciated that. You talked about connectivity of the, of the current team. And it seems like that's a perfect definition of what it is with the alumni guys who played a generation ago. They are fired up at how this season has been going with your guys. There's a great photo op. Johnny, I think, after the game on the floor with, with Tracy Webster and Michael and I think big fella Richard, that, that's priceless. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's it's been neat to see because obviously I grew up in the state and saw – you know, those guys, a lot of the older guys are about the same age, came through college the same time I did. And just to watch how this program has grown and, and how it's – those guys were part of making basketball cool, you know, at Wisconsin. It maybe wasn't, um, you know, the thing to do or the thing to, to be a part of, but it's – They've laid the foundation, as have many others before them and, and since, that have helped make this program what it is. Yeah, the, having the, re, the Jersey retirement is so right on so many fronts. Obviously, Michael, very deserving of it. But you bring those guys back, former teammates, or, or guys who may or may not have been teammates, but players who are proud alums, you bring them back here. It just shows that this Wisconsin basketball family is very, very strong. We'll take a break. We have more to come as we continue with the Badger Sports Report. Compere Financial has always been there for our clients and communities in any situation. And our support continues today as our clients work relentlessly to feed, clothe, and fuel the world. Compere is proud to continue our strong commitment to our clients, the rural communities where they live, and to agriculture. We're here to help meet the financial needs of rural America. And we'll navigate through this together. You'll hear things like, you're gonna need to see a specialist. That what you have is serious, like really serious. And then you meet them, your medical team. With research and clinical trials and new treatments. With better procedures that lead to better results. Then it hits you, you're gonna be okay. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. 
Hands it for Butch. Three in the air. Left of the circle. He hit it going glass. Badgers lead by two. Four and a half seconds left. Here's Ellis right side front court for three and the win. It is off the rim and no good. And the Badgers win it on a Brian Butch triple. Being able to come back to Wisconsin is awesome. It's great when you come back, call a game, you're able to see it, but you see a lot of familiar faces, and that's the support that makes this place so special. Whether you come back as an announcer, whether you come back as a fan, whether you just come back to watch the game, whatever it might be, you see a bunch of familiar faces, and that's what makes this place so unique, so special. Uh, it's always fun to come back and call games. It's always fun to see where the team is at. Uh, usually get a couple of non-conference games, get a couple of conference games, and you kind of see the growth and development of every player. That, to me, is the fun part about it. As an analyst, you've got all this basketball experience. W what, what do you feel like you've brought from the game into that analyst seat? I, I think the biggest thing as an analyst that I try to bring is, is knowledge. You try to inform, you try to teach. I think it's it's very similar in that moment. I, I'm always trying to to bring the viewer's eyes something that maybe they didn't see. Um, and to me, it's just kind of teaching the game of basketball. The game of basketball has been so good to me. So, you know, when you have a chance to be an analyst, it's not about you. Uh, it's about the kids. It's about the program. It's about promoting those guys. It's about teaching the audience. And I think that's my focus. Um, I never want it to be about me. Yeah, you have some fun, you bring some personality, um, you make people that are watching the game excited about it, maybe have them laugh a little bit, but I'm really trying to teach them and learn. Um, and then I'm trying to put these kids, um, you know, and promote them and promote what the school does. Uh, that, that's always been my, my goal as, a, as an analyst. I think the biggest thing is uh, my thing as an analyst and in the media, I'm never going to come at a kid for, for effort. I'm never going to, you know, that, that's not my job. That's the coach and staff job. Now, execution of, of plays and situations, yeah, I think you've got to point it out. But it's no different than what's going to be pointed out in the film in 24 hours from now. So I think you look at that overall and you understand that there's a lot of always teaching and, and going on, and, and that's what has to happen at this, especially this level. There are 18 to 22 year old kids that are trying to understand, you know, what needs to happen to win championships. And, and you know, the thing with this team and the thing with this program in general is they all want to learn. They don't have the answers, and they know that. And I think that's the thing that makes this place so unique. What have you seen from this year's team that you like, this year's Badgers? Uh, for me, uh, what I've seen, a lot of growth. I think, obviously, Johnny Davis playing the way that Johnny's playing is a special thing. Brad Davis and being a senior leader. But it's been the rest of the guys that have grown every single week. And I think that's the biggest thing when you look at this Wisconsin program in general. That's what it's built upon. But that's why they've had the success that they've had so far this year. And again, I think that's why the program continues to have success um, and overall, that to me is, is what makes this place so special. Yeah, having guys like Johnny help, don't get me wrong. Uh, and Johnny's been so good at so many different levels, so many different games, big time games, big time moments. And that's why this team is special. I think Coach Guard, Coach Ryan, I always said it. It's an out in front of you if you want to go get it. It's up to you guys on how you guys want to play, what you want to do, how you want to execute. And I love the saying when Coach Ryan said it, I love it when Coach Guard says it, because it's so true. It's up to you as a group and as a unit how long you want to play. There's enough talent in that locker room. There's enough players in that locker room. They defend, they play hard, they play the game the right, right way, they share the game. Um, so as far as that goes, it's going to be a fun three weeks. And if you're a college basketball fan, get ready for it. It's awesome. Hard work, sweat, knowledge, and your own two hands. These are the tools that build Wisconsin. Leave your mark on the real world with zero debt and higher pay. All from day one. It's time to do work that works for you. Learn more at buildingwisconsintogether.com. On this game day, Good Foods Guacamole would like to salute all you players. No matter what you seem to be playing, you, sir, are a winner. You, ma'am triumphant and thumbs up to whatever it is you're doing so let's hoist a guac laden chip to all you players out there good foods guac made from the freshest avocado and the cleanest ingredients so here's to all the players and whatever game it is they're trying to play game day is guac day good foods guac the badger sports report is presented by uw health the healthcare team for the badgers Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. 
and is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com. Well, we head into the final week of the Big Ten regular season. A home game on Tuesday night against the Purdue Boilermakers as the Badgers will go for the regular season sweep of Matt Painter's team. And then the regular season closes on Saturday as Wisconsin will host Nebraska. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield. You'll hear things like, you're gonna need to see a specialist. That what you have is serious, like really serious. And then you meet them, your medical team. With research and clinical trials and new treatments. With better procedures that lead to better results. Then it hits you, you're gonna be okay. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked Swami where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey.